again. Them boys used to run with us. They ran with me. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Okay then, girl. Come on. It's this way. On me. Ja. met these crazies before. You been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them. 
but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Oh, well, no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. Of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Oh, look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Did you see anything? No. Yes. Yes. There you're all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? 
You got men everywhere. Off near the porch. You got men covering the house. All right, some tents. Down by the road. We'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. So, what are we doing? We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move? and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? Hey, this could be promised. What do you got? We ought to check them before we drive them out of here.
Hey, can you just check the crates first? We need to know what we got. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Don't spare the... Nah, come on! Yep. Come on. G up. Fall in. <laughs> Crack that whip. Hey, looks like you were driving this thing. Ryder. Christ. Ryder. Coming our way. Keep it together here. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? I don't like it. Get these bastards! They're out there, let's go! They might be on to us! I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... Then no, but nothing. Me and Dutch... And everyone who counts, we know what you do for this game. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. <laughs> Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Okay, girl. Bro. Easy 
there, girl. Yep. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Sir, this way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? No. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the... Just to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Drive on the road for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Those ain't really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah. Given as usual, Flannan. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really buried some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still, tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, 
We're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Back on the road. Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of Whoa, hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Boy. I've... Uh, I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal. In, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build. See it. It's imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. Plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. 
<clears throat> you head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was barred one of down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Oh, hey! Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools? Payroll? Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll? Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
be a long night. Oh. I'm gonna douse this. Two. Let's go lay yourselves a fat cigar. You call that a party? 
That break weight hag got a money's worth, darling. Let's just get out of here first. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Yeah. I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Later. I got some business. Right you are, English. Another job well done, I'd say. I think nothing would shock me these days. I'll be damned. You're back. So, what are you in the market for? Just holler when you spot a winner. This should be fun. Terrible thing what happened at the parlor house. Thank you. Thank you. 